Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Waddles, and welcome to The Minecraft Guide, a 1.14 survival let's play. Ah, these are words that I've been rehearsing for quite some time. I'm, I'm very excited to get back into survival Minecraft, and uh, today is, in fact, the day. Uh, this will be a, a consistently running series on the channel, but it's daytime, so... We should probably get uh, to work here and um, <laughs> just talk about uh, what we're going to do in the series and everything. Uh, now, this is a survival let's play, so, you know, we're going to do survival stuff and, and live and everything. Uh, but it is called The Minecraft Guide. In this series, we will be going through some of the basics and, and things that you do in this wonderful game. Now, I won't be going over, you know, absolute beginner stuff or, or anything like that, and we won't be getting into th anything too crazy right away but but don't don't get me wrong we will definitely be be doing some pretty crazy stuff uh here in the series i have some really really cool and fun plans and yeah just overall lots of cool stuff planned now i i think i need a sword i saw some sheep uh randomized seed i i don't know what the seed is it's it's just a the first one i actually came across uh so we got kind of lucky here we have cows um a wolf uh, chickens and uh <laughs> i need to remember i don't have a house yet i need to i need to actually do things instead of stand around so we need three sheep uh i never worry about um you know a proper house on the first day actually you know i said i needed a house but i lied all we need is a bed if we have a bed we're good and i will sleep out uh, under the stars like a true man of nature that I am. Uh, we should take some of the new corn flowers too. Why not, right? Um, I'll, I'll start the whole <laughs> inventory getting full thing uh, about now. Now, what else do we need? Oh, oh, a crossbow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So this is one of the first times that I am actually playing with this new 1.14 stuff in survival. If you know my Twitch, uh, you may have seen some of what I did over there. And uh, yeah, picture that times a thousand. Now it looks like we have... Um, uh, I think that's a mountain over there, it looks like, and then a forest, uh, a taiga, which I definitely want to go to, and then probably another small forest. I think the plains would be an amazing place to build. That'll may Maybe we'll come back here, I'm not too sure. Uh, but we should talk about the series a little bit. So, it's Minecraft Guide, right? And, uh, you know, I said survival, let's play, and I also uh, said, you know, like, learning stuff and going over things. Like, for example, when we get to, like, I don't know, a slime farm or something... Uh, we'll, we'll build the slime farm on camera, and I'll kind of go through how things work, the mechanics of things, all of that type of good stuff. This series is inspired by a lot of absolutely wonderful creators that I'm sure you've heard of, such as Mumbo Jumbo, Etho, of course. You you, you gotta always give praise to to the great Etho's lab. Uh, B double O. I, I I wish you would come back and just a lot of people there's also some newer guys uh that i've been inspired by such as avamance the great uh, as as i know him by uh, lord avamance the the great <laughs> and uh other cool people like pixel riffs and yeah just the whole community so big shout out to everyone i, I would keep listing people that i've been inspired by but there are just way too many um and of course we'll go by Eskal's great beliefs and, and words of diorite being nasty that's one of the goals that we'll have in this world is to get rid of every ounce of diorite i, I don't like the stuff it's bad <laughs> uh even with the new textures it's, it's just not good uh but can we find any sweet berry bushes you see i haven't played with 1.14 stuff all that much in survival but i know that sweet berries are absolutely amazing early game because of how fast they grow and how much they fill up uh so do we have will we get lucky I, i'm sure we will they're pretty common uh, yes, yes, we are lucky. Awesome. Okay, so uh, I will harvest and I guess break. <laughs> harvest, break. There we go. Uh, sugar cane as well. I, I guess I'm just going to grab everything. <laughs> That's going to be our MO until we fill up the inventory here. So berries need to come down to the hot bar and um, I have a sapling. I don't have an oak sapling, but that's okay. I think we're going to hang right around in this area for now. Let's see if I can find... Uh, oh, that's the thing with sweet berry bushes. You can't look at the ground. Uh, otherwise, they'll plant, and, and it's just bad. It's all around bad news. But can we find a little more? I'm not feeling... Oh, hey, some leather. Uh, I'm not feeling too comfortable with... Aw, 
Aw, <laughs> what effect does the fox have? Um, what is that? Uh, I have no clue at all, uh, but I'm not too comfortable with, with one sweet berry bush. Uh, can we get any more? Do we have to kill the cows? We probably, oh, hey, there's some. Uh, as long as the foxes don't take these, uh, we're good. Okay, so we should probably talk about a house. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> um, aha, uh -huh. you guys see what I see, right? Um, well... Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I guess we have, we have some neighbors here. This is not uh, a, a good look. It probably looks crazy staged, but uh, you got to trust me. <laughs> uh, we should probably go check out the village. Let's start there. That's a good starting spot uh, in the world. Now, in terms of episode length, I, I'm thinking like 20 or so minutes, maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter. Uh, I'll, I'll go off of what you guys tell me. So if I am making the episode too long, you tell me. And if I'm making it too short, uh, you also tell me that and I'll fix it. I'll, I'll work on it. I'd like to get a few episodes out a week as well. So uh, it should be, you know, pretty consistent. But what do we have in the village? Does anybody live here? Um, hello? Anybody? Uh... Uh, we got a stone cutter. Should we, we should probably take it. Uh, why even ask, right? Like, that's mine. Um, and we need cobblestone, actually, but I don't want to rip a house down because, um, I, I just don't want to, I don't want to be like that, right? That's, that's not a nice thing. These are my new neighbors. We'll take some of this stone here. That'll kind of do, um... I probably need to get a sword, uh, a, a pickaxe, and maybe a tree axe as well. So, oh, we'll need a furnace too. Oh, diorite. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't see it. I, I can't look at it. No, it's it's just bad. Um, but a furnace as well. So what else do we have here? We have some bells. Anybody around? Uh, it's like a, like a ghost town, I guess, other than a golem. Um, well, I guess nobody will mind me taking the bell then. Or can we break? Oh, okay, we could. <laughs> I guess I only need the one for now. We'll leave the... Oh, I hear, I hear you. Uh, you don't have a job, though. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave the other bells for now. That's kind of fine. Um, is that a, that's a fisherman, and there's a chest. What do we have? Do we have anything good? Uh, we have some coal. Coal is really good right now. That's that's amazing. Uh, the barrels, but I don't, I don't really care about the barrels all that much, if I'm being honest. And then, in here... Um, do we have any loot in these builds? Uh, no... I think this is just like a small house or something. It's been so long since I've uh, looked at all of the structures and, you know, that kind of stuff. I see a composter as well, but maybe we want to consider living near this village, a at least for now, right? This is just a day one setup, uh, and we have a cave system here too. So, yeah, I, I think this would be a really good place to live. Let's go maybe across the river just to give the village a little bit of distance because with my luck a patrol will spawn and and go right through the village and everybody will die and and I'll, I'll be lonely again so maybe if we just go over here by the mountain that that should be good uh i should probably start killing these guys i will want to grab oh i i should have checked the farm over there um maybe i'll go back uh, uh, later but uh, oh, pumpkins too. Wow. Um, <laughs> this is about the best start that I've ever had in Minecraft. Let's see though. Let's, uh, let's start with some spruce logs, uh, or you know what? How about this? How about this? Let's make a hole in the cave or a hole in the mountain for now to live in just, just temporarily, at least until I figure out what I'd like to do with my housing situation. I have absolutely no idea how I'd like to live um, or, or anything like that. I'm thinking maybe like a village, but I'm also thinking, what about something cool? Like a castle or something crazy. That, that could be fun, you know? So, I don't know. I'm, I'm so, uh, confused, basically. But I think this would be a nice spot for a cave house. So, we'll need that down. We might as well make a shovel, or, uh, well, Yes, a shovel and a bed. I, I meant a bed, but we want a shovel as well. So let's do this and then just go right to the stone. We don't need a wood shovel and it's time to terraform. So terraforming is, of course, making things look pretty. This is one of my favorite things in the game uh, to do. I, I just love decorating environments and, and that's something that I'd like to get into in this world, like prettying up everything that we live around. So like we have a whole custom world or or custom biome and, and, and stuff like that, right? I think that could be 
uh, really nice. But I think what we want to make here is uh, weird world like. <laughs> uh, I think what we want to make here is like just a hole, like a old style caveman a hole, and then we'll do some supports or something to hold up the house. But it is almost nighttime, and you already know that I, I won't be braving the night. We will need to sleep, uh, like I said, out under the stars. But we can actually make a furnace now, which is really cool. So here we go. Um, and I think we could actually make a campfire as well. Maybe we'll make the campfire once we are living in our house, though. Uh, so for now, we'll put that there, and food. Let's cook the raw mutton, because the sweet berries are, uh, they're growing over there pretty fastly, but, or quickly, excuse me. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, they need to go a little faster. So advancement number two. Uh, one thing that I'd love to try and do is get all of the advancements in Minecraft in the series, but uh, <laughs> that's a stretch. I, I know, because there are a lot, and they, they just keep being added, so... Maybe, maybe we're, we're being hopeful here, uh, and and reaching for the for the sky, I guess. But uh, the wood pickaxe goes so slow. Can we upgrade this? Yes, we can uh, to that. And then maybe if we get lucky, we'll hit some iron in here and be able to work with that. I've never done uh, like a cave hole like this for my first base, and uh, I guess that's kind of why. I'm going for it, but it, cave bases are way cheaper too. Like you, you need nowhere near as much material. So if you're newer to Minecraft and and you're trying to you know get on that day one setup and everything, uh, j just make a cave base or a hole in the ground. It, it'll be way easier than actually building a house. Now I mentioned my Twitch earlier on in the video as well, and I I plan on streaming some stuff from this world over on Twitch. Eventually, once we get into those larger projects like big builds and and you know just farms that type of thing, uh, there'll be some grinding that is kind of necessary. So for that grinding, that's where Twitch comes in. My Twitch is linked down in the description below. If you're interested in it, um, slide over there and check it out. Now, I think this is going to be just about good for our little cave hole house thing, um, but we need to pull the dirt out. Now, I think for the floor of our house, we'll just do do dirt. We'll, we'll try and get some grass grown all the way in here, and I think that'll make things look nice. Maybe we can do some path blocks as well on the ground to, you know, kind of spruce things up in a sense. Uh, but for now, we'll just do this. Throw all of the dirt in there. That'll look uh, good-ish, and then... We need to terraform. So, uh, this is where the guide stuff kind of comes in. Terraforming is, like I said, just making things look pretty. For mountains, it's actually really, really easy. In my opinion, hillsides or mountainsides are one of the easiest things in the game to terraform. Basically, you're going for something like what I did here, just randomization. Then, to make your cave look even better, come back in with some cobblestone or some andesite, really whatever gray block that you have on you at the moment. So I think we'll mix just a bit of cobblestone in here because I don't have any andesite quite yet. I'm sure I can find some andesite on the mountain here, but I'm, I'm just not that worried about the andesite right now. A uh, little bit of randomization goes a long way. Try not to go too overkill on the randomization though because uh, things can start to look excessive really, really fast. Maybe we'll spill our terraforming out of the cave just a little bit to make uh, everything kind of blend in. If you stop on only what you need to do. So like if I stopped only on the cave, everything else would look weird. I will want to definitely climb up this mountain and take the coal out as well. Maybe we should keep our first pickaxe, like as a memory, right? Like, is that a, is that a bad idea? <laughs> I mean, I don't see why it would be a bad idea, right? Um, well, let's make a frame. We have one leather, so here we go. A frame, and um, we'll put our old pickaxe. Um, hmm. Maybe we will we'll change this a little bit. We'll open this up a little bit more. Put a cobblestone there. Frame, and first pickaxe ever it will live there forever or or until i i, I rip it down <laughs> uh we'll move the bed in here too so maybe the bed can go there and then some beams i think beams would level this thing up even more so maybe we go uh spruce beam going all the way up here and we'll pull this thing out so 
beam all the way to the ceiling like that. I think that looks cool. And then over here, another beam going all the way up to the ceiling. So we have kind of like some support stuff going on. I think that looks really, really nice. Now, if we had iron, I would say let's go grab some some uh what do you call it <laughs> if we had the iron I, I would say let's go grab some shears and get leaves hanging all over this thing but we don't have iron so i think we're gonna have to look around the mountain in just a minute but the berries have already fully grown or at least two of them or is this one yeah yeah they both did that's the nice thing about berries early on is how fast they grow so we'll make a berry farming operation there for now and hopefully automate the process very soon. Uh, but for now, we have the mutton as well, which is really, really good. But do we see any iron anywhere? I see all of the coal everywhere, which is really, really nice. But iron, where is my best friend iron? Um, uh, <laughs> no cave. Um, hmm. You see, usually there's iron on the side of these mountains. Um, uh, I just don't see any anywhere. Uh, maybe that's the one thing that we're not going to have luck with today, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. Like, we've had some crazy luck already, but uh, any iron? Maybe I should have looked around in the village a little more, though, uh, because usually villages will have iron as well. Uh, anything? No. Really cool mountain, though, that we have in here. This could be fun to build on. I don't know, though, about building on a mountain forever. Uh, I just don't like the grass color. It's not my favorite color in the game at all, so we probably won't stay here. More coal. Hmm. I should probably be taking uh, all of the... Uh, I think we could live this drop for sure, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> we should probably be taking all of the coal that I'm seeing instead of passing it up like I am right now. Uh, so I'm going to kind of do that, run around and dig up coal. Coal is huge early on, and it's it's also huge later on. One of my biggest tips for early game Minecraft is take every single ore that you find. You should really always be doing this, even late game, but uh, it's, it's a little less important if you skip coal late game and my thing broke. Hmm. Well, we're going to do this. This is a trend that I always kind of have in my survival worlds. A million crafting tables everywhere. <laughs> so I can keep making tools, which is fine. You can bring the crafting benches with you. Uh, but I just don't have much of a use for them. So I guess we'll leave the extra bench over here and probably come back for the coal. Um, we have about half of a day left. So I think we should venture around this mountain a little more and see if we can find any iron. I'm not sure if patrols will start spawning right away, but if they do, um, I'm in a bad spot. <laughs> Vindicators are very, very strong. Patrols are a new 1.14 feature, by the way. They are basically a group of bad guys that spawn around, but uh, yeah, no iron anywhere. Hmm. Well, the other thing that we could do for this is caving. We can dig down, so uh, I should probably go back to my base to do this next step. And hey, some eggs. Eggs are amazing, and unfortunately, I'm going to do this. You, you guys saw nothing. I would never kill the chickens. You see this? Uh, no, you didn't. You, you saw nothing. You know, we might as well hang the bell by our house, too. Uh, this is our doorbell. We'll put it there, and if any villagers make their way over here, I can ring this to... I guess just kind of make them panic, but um, staircase time. So let's say a strip mine over here or a branch mine or whatever, uh, a mine to go. Oh, oh, hmm. That's so weird. I don't know what's going on with the world. Hmm. It must be a 1.14 bug. Have any of you encountered that? Uh, that's kind of crazy. But anyways, we're going to make a staircase here that goes very far down and we will use this for our mine the best way to get diamonds early on is definitely strip or branch mining strip or branch mining is when you go down to like y12 and make long long hallways now the really nice thing about 1.12 or 1.14 excuse me is the stone cutter here uh, we can make a whole stack of stairs um, if i do it right that very very easily these stairs will help us get way way down or actually right to where we need to we don't need to like make a billion stairs and use up like you know <laughs> a bunch of uh, cobblestone i i love the stone cutter and how it crafts things now so here we go and uh it's almost nighttime so it's definitely 
time to sleep again, and I don't think mobs will spawn on stairs, so we could be, or we should be fine with lighting down there, but I do want some lighting in my little hole here, so let's do that, and, um, we sh that, that should be fine. Let's move this stuff inside, though. And, of course, a chest as well. We need, er, you know, we could actually make a barrel. Let's do a barrel. That's a little more fun and new. Uh, I want to definitely explore these new blocks, because there are quite a bit. Uh, so let's say standing barrel there. That's cool. And then we have all of our blocks moved inside of our, our house, even though it's not really inside. And let's plant the cornflowers over here. But... Yeah, that's inside, okay, guys? <laughs> We're just going to have to go with it for now. Maybe we could add a little bit of support here, too. We'll have these little diagonal beams coming up to, to hold the roof up or something like that. But I feel like we should put another block there to finish that off. But anyways, back to the staircase. So we need to go all the way down to Y12. I, I think we can do that today. That's not too crazy of a goal uh, I, I think, but I need to make sure the staircase is nice and nice. I, I absolutely just, I don't like it when I hit my head on the stairs, so I'm going to go ahead and, and, and get a staircase in with a little bit of camera magic, something kind of like this here. Aha, uh -huh, a little magic just like that. How did I do it? The world may, may never know. Now, oh, <gasps> ah, iron. <laughs> I was going to say, I found nothing but one vein of coal down this whole staircase, uh, but uh, that changes, or this changes everything. There's some iron. That's amazing. This goes all the way down to Y13. Uh, I want it to go to 12, though, so there we go. We'll use that a little more probably next time, but it's my guess that the berries up top should be ready to, to be harvested and spread around. I'm trying to make a decent sized berry farm for, oh yes they all definitely are i'm trying to make a decent sized berry farm for now until we get something a little better something more along the lines of cows or or even pigs i see some pigs over there uh but i think what we can do is probably just rows of berries um one row after the other like that that probably should be good we'll have to play around with berry farming and see what the best mechanic would be but uh, take a look at this. We're, we're set on cobblestone for now. <laughs> uh, quite a bit of the stuff. So, yeah, but you know what? We aren't set on um, this stuff right here. Um, we need wood really badly. We have five. I wanted to make a campfire, um, and, and we could. Wouldn't be smart, but um, was it smart? Absolutely not. I shouldn't have done it. But uh, did I do it? Absolutely. It's too late now. So there we go. That's a beautiful campfire and I think a beautiful place to stop for today's adventure. Oh, ow, ow, uh, ooh. <laughs> Thank you for joining me in episode one of our 1.14 survival series known as the Minecraft Guide. Next episode, we'll hopefully get into a little bit more tree farming and maybe even setting up some better farms. If you liked the video, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, maybe change that. My name is Waddles, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.